Hello YouTube, this is the Java Programmer and uh, you might notice that my sound sounds better or different. Um, I have a new computer and uh, I've gone through a trying experience trying to get it to work. I finally have the use of it after two months of going back and forth between Apple and the company I bought it with and uh, I bought this computer specifically for making videos and uh, doing programming so this will be my first video in uh, using that com new computer so hopefully everything goes well and uh, we will see how it goes so in the last video I had mentioned that we needed to take this uh, this output that we got from our history and we needed to put it to the screen or in in a form of uh, a chart so that we could look at these numbers and see if they make sense. Because right now, just looking at this big old uh, bunch of numbers really does nothing for us. Um, so let's make some sense out of these numbers. The library that I have used in the past, which I'm not saying it's the best library, uh, it's just one that I have found to be uh, simpler to use than others, is called... Um, I think it's J free charts. And so what we need to do is we need to add that to our project. So if we go into our palm.xml file, uh, we click on the dependencies tab, we have the option to add new libraries. So if I type in J free chart, I'm noticing that uh, this little warning message here, index downloads are disabled search results may be incomplete or non-existent uh, we need to turn on index downloads and I believe we did this in a previous video but um, since I switched over to my new computer I do not have it turned on for this version of Eclipse so uh, I will be back once I have this turned on alright I just had to uh, restart Eclipse in order to get my index downloads turned on. So let's go ahead and try this again. So if you remember, we went to our palm XML file and clicked on dependencies, and we're going to try to add jfree chart. And if you notice down the bottom right corner here, this is what we want, repository search. So when that finishes, it should give us a list of the different options we can get for this library. Finally, that list has returned, and uh, we see a lot of different options on that on the list. The one that we're going to look for here is, I believe it is J Free. Um, I don't think the version that I'm looking for is 1.0.15. So I'm not sure which one of these is going to have that specific version. Okay, here's the one. It's org.jfree.jchart. And so the latest version is 1.0.19. So that's the version that we're going to use. So if you double click on it, um, it brings it in here. You hit save. And... Eclipse will automatically download that library for us and so we will be able to make use of that. So yet again let's create another package in our program here. Um, yeah, let's have it help us out here and fill in most of it for us. So trading system dot I'm gonna call this uh, UI for user interface because this would be our first sort of user interface portion to this program that we've written. Go ahead and close our palm and we're going to create a new class and our class is going to be called a OHLC chart. Okay so this is going to be our chart class And one of the first things that we're going to need is actually a J free chart. 
So jfree chart chart equals new. Uh, well, let's not initialize it yet. Let's do that in our constructor. So public um, so OHLC stands for open high low close, which is typical um, typical uh, market language for the uh, history items. You're going to have a consolidated time period that has an open, has a high during that time period, has a low during that time period, and has what it closed at. So in our class here, we're going to send in a list of our, uh, I think it's data bars. It's the class that we created last time. Yes, data bar. So we want to send in a linked, uh, linked list of data bar. We'll call it bars. So that way when we initialize this class, we will be providing it a list of bars. Now I'm going to add another method here and we will most likely implement it in the next video. But it's one thing just to put up a static um, a static uh, graph on the screen. It's another thing to see it change in real time. So we want to have a method here called update and all that's going to take is the same the same parameter. So a linked list of data bar but this will be for once the chart is actually on the screen and this will do the updating of it real time. The first thing that we have to do is uh, the chart has its own data types and so it expects a list of uh, OHLC uh, come on OHLC data item I think it's item yes data items equals new array list of OHLC data item let's see why this hasn't come in so all right first off we got to import our list class uh, Java util import our ArrayList class Java util and now this should show up there it is org jfree data xy so there we go so now we got to convert our data bars into data items or OHLC data items so let's loop through our data bars data bar bar in bars I'm going to say data items dot add new uh, data item. And so here we have date, open, high, low, close, and volume, which I believe all of this is in our bar. So bar dot git. Uh, we don't have a git date. Uh, we will have to fix that. So um, for now, we'll just say get time stamp. We'll create that later. So open. So bar dot get open. So now the question comes is, do we want to graph the open prices or do we want to, I'm sorry, the, the bid prices or the ask prices? Uh, the other thing you could do is you can take an average of you can take an average of them. Uh, basically, you add them together and divide by two. But I think the better option is just to take the lower price, which is going to be the ask price. So let's just go with the ask prices for now. So get open ask uh, bar dot get. Uh, this was the high get high ask bar dot get low ask bar dot get close ask and bar dot get volume 
Okay. So we're going to have to get the timestamp working before we can get much farther with this class. But for now, let's let's just fill this out and we'll come back to that. Once again, I have been talking more than I've been programming. I apologize for this. I will try to do better in the next videos. So uh, the next video will continue right where this one left off. Uh, once again, this is the Java Programmer, and thanks for watching.